Hey everyone, um, <clears throat> coming to you again after my meditation, <clears throat> done two on the weekend. My, um, I'm not completely back, but I'm definitely feeling better. Um, so I'm excited to feel like my body is a little bit more open. However, my voice is still not 100% back, <coughs> so I apologize. I went into meditation today thinking I was going to talk about one thing because it was on my mind when I was sitting having my coffee by the ocean this morning. Um, but it's amazing how much in seven or eight minutes uh, in a meditation things can change. And so today what I want to talk about is your sneaky little perfectionist hiding behind your spiritual growth. This took me by surprise um, because this morning there were so many other things on my mind um, and yet this again came to the forefront and it's just a reminder you guys that like our conscious mind can be processing so much and then we just take five, six, seven minutes in, um, in quiet and all these other things can come up that we don't even know are playing in the background open tabs in our mind. And um, I guess one open tab that was really mind-blowing for me today during meditation was realizing that um, on s somewhere on some level there was a thread of this story in my system, the story of I am not pure enough, I am not... Um, clean enough, I am not um, spiritually connected enough, I have not um, cleaned up all of my shadow stuff enough to um, deserve the life that I desire. And it's funny because when people usually talk to me about worthiness, I feel like, oh no, that's not a piece that feels, that resonates for me. I feel like I, I nearly have the opposite issue on a conscious level. I feel like many times I'm like, my problem is really like, I deserve this. Why do I not have it yet? Um, but I think on, on some unconscious level, there is a thread of actually, um, of the worthiness piece that is underneath all of it. And it like, even just saying it out loud annoys the crap out of me. I'm like, just like. I uh, can't believe that's there. Um, <laughs> so just needed to presence that too. But really this like, this um, realization, I think this, this might be the case for a lot of us, which is why it's presencing itself, this idea that, okay, I just need to figure out this, this other piece. I just need to like, you know, once I've like eradicated this ego desire and once I've um, really healed my my stuff with my this parent or once I have um, done all the money work which by the way just keeps going you guys um, you know once this once that and like we know that pattern right the once I've done this then I will have that and um, for me when I checked in it felt like there was still somewhere a record that was running um, that was saying like until you get it perfect, spiritually speaking, until you really have not a single like ego attachment, a single mm, expectation, a single um, ounce of resentment or anger or whatever that you um, will not get the things that you want and that's sad because it, as a human I will always have my shadow I will always have the things um, that aren't like totally quote-unquote pure as will you and um, this feeling like this curse of like I need to clean it and fix it and make it go away and um, there, there's a, there's a taste of shame in my system of like 
why have I not gotten this right yet? I was speaking to my friend yesterday um, when I was really frustrated and I was like, I think my problem is that I think I deserve all this stuff, that I think that I deserve to have um, a financially successful business where I don't have to worry about money ever again, um, where I have a family and a partner who's like going to stand by me no matter what, where I get to have the kid that I really want. Said and I'm scared that even though I know I deserve all this, that I won't get it. And in f- acknowledging that feeling, there's then the layer of shame of, oh, but I know that's not right because as long as I think I deserve it, I have expectations. And if I have expectations of the universe, then I'm being a cocky motherfucker. <laughs> And um, there's an assumption that I will get all that I want and um, that the universe has to deliver to me, right? This, like, um, sense of, of, of um, um, not privilege. What's the word I'm looking for here? Mm, it will come back to me. The sense of entitlement, that's the word. And um, when I was sitting in the, at, at the ocean this morning, I was thinking about how like life is all one big dance of, you know, being the champion of, and the motor of like what's possible in, in your life, um, being the uh, envisioner and creatrix of your desires and trusting that everything will be, li- be delivered to you. But then also, on the other hand, accepting what is actually present and accepting what the universe is handing to you and trusting and having faith that this is actually your soul's path, even though you know your ego desires are like totally not being handled. I mean, I'll just tell you, like, here I am. I'm turning 37, guys, and it's like not at all the life I thought I was going to be living. And there's pieces of it when I look at it that I'm so proud of and I feel um, like there was only a courageous warrior could be in this place. And then there's the other piece that when I look at from an ego lens, I'm like, really sucks. You know, I do not have a family. Um, that I have created, which is what I really want. Um, I don't have a partner who's able to meet me in at the level of just where I am in my personal growth and uh, my spiritual practice and my emotional range and uh, my commitment capability. I don't have the kid that I thought I would have by like 29. Um, And my business, although it nourishes me in so many ways also still has a lot of places where it drains me um and consistent financial income is one of those places you know I've got great months and I have awful months I have months where I think I should burn it all down and months where I'm like oh my god it's so easy to make money um well so easy to make money is still like (laughs) anyways but there are times when I'm like oh well this is way better than getting a job so, um, so there's a dance here, but, um, to take it back to the perfectionist, I think that, um, so often, especially for those of us who grew up in, uh, a world with caretakers who really expected so much of us where even if we got like 95% on a test, it was always that, like, why did you get that one question wrong? Or you know, it was always the highlight of the thing that's still not working, And so I just, I caution you as you go through your spiritual growth to not um, take on that voice of like, here are the things that are still not, you know, that I still haven't perfected on my spiritual journey because you are exactly in the right place and doing exactly what you need to be doing and you just have to trust.